Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It is getting into the fall time. We have new release from ColourPop and this is the Disney Haunted Mansion release. I am so excited for this and we play around with the new collection, see what it's all about. I did kind of a goth glam. Before we jump into it though, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. I feel like I haven't filmed with ColourPop in forever. I've been so selective with the things that I've picked up, but I saw this release and I was absolutely excited. This is the Haunted Mansion release. So we have the palette Welcome Foolish Mortals. I love the artwork on this and even the outer carton. Like I'm tempted to keep it, but I know I don't need it. It has the gates to get in. So cute. And then on the back you have the ghosts. I am so excited for this. When Jamie and I went to Disney, we wanted to ride the Haunted Mansion ride, which was being refurbished at the time. So we didn't get to, but I'm really excited for, I think it's what, a new movie that's being released? Someone said it was a TV show. I'm pretty sure it's a movie. Let me know in the comments. I'll probably go look it up here in a minute. But I'm looking at this color story, very like deep, darker tones, grays and blacks. You've got the pops of color with the purple and the teal. Look at this pressed glitter. And then you even have some of the more neutral shades to tone it down if you want to. But the shimmers, there's one that looks like it has, actually there's I think two pressed glitters, Ghost Toast and Psychic Medium. I'll obviously know when I swatch them. And even looking at the back of the carton, it doesn't necessarily say, like it tells you about the contents of each color, but it doesn't say like pressed glitter or whatever. I could probably look it up online, but when I swatch, I will know for sure. Really excited for the swatches. We also have some super shock shadows. There are four different shades. So these two right here. So this first one is Creepin, which looks like a greeny holographic silver. Like obviously I'm gonna swatch this, but it kind of gives me like mermaid vibes. Then we have Stare Down, and this one is a luscious purple eyeing you which is a bluish teal and last but not least we have frightful and this is like a greeny black teal look at that stunning i love the super shock shadows they just amplify an eye look but i don't know which way i want to go whether it's pressed glitters shimmers from the palette or super shock shadows so the swatches are going to do a lot there is also a glitterly obsessed that glows in the dark and this one is madame leota it is very liquidy when I opened it earlier. Yeah, so it kind of like moves around like a viscous material. Usually glitterly obsessed are a little more like paste. It's fine. And then we have four lippies, two glosses and two ultra matte lips. I'm excited for this. Let me go ahead, swatch the palette, find out which direction I wanna go and uh, we'll discuss. Okay, you guys, these swatches did not disappoint and they are so beautiful, very, spectacular the pressed glitter in the second row second shade in it's kind of like rose gold to purple shift with like a cranberry glitter that shade is psychic medium i absolutely love that shade and i'm kind of gravitating towards that but i also like the pressed glitter in the top row called ghost host and it is kind of a blue leaning teal duochrome pressed glitter now the shimmer on the bottom row this one is Ballroom Ghost. It's kind of like a gold leaning navy blue. Quite interesting. As well as there's some shades in here that are neutral enough that I think I could wear them to work. But then you have enough of the pop of color that it'd be a fun palette to take with you on travel. I'm really excited for this. I feel like there's a couple different variations. I do still need to swatch the Super Shocks to get an idea of if I can use or want to use a shimmer from the palette or use one of those Super Shocks. So let me go ahead, swatch those real quick and uh, we'll discuss. Okay, so I just swatched the Super Shocks and that's what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and put them right there. Oh, look at this shade right here. That's quite stunning. And then this one, 
actually looks like it's a little more fine milled than the pressed glitter and has a similar variation. I think it leans more green than blue though. I do still have the swatches on my arm because I wanted to compare them. I do wanna use this one, which is Frightful. I might use that all over the eye and then use the pressed glitter that is Ghost Toast. I think that might be quite stunning. So I guess we're gonna play around with both of them. Let me wipe these off, prep my eyes, and we will play around. Okay, we're primed and ready to go. I'm gonna go into the shade The Attic. The downside to the palette, there's no mirror, but I have one handy, which is helpful. There is quite some kick up. I am so excited for this release. I think it is so cute. I am really excited to see the updated I think it's a movie. I still, I didn't look. I need to though. But it has quite an interesting cast and I'm really like, I'm here for it. If you've never been on the ride, it is so much fun. It's not like a roller coaster or anything. It's nothing that is going to like terrify you. It is just a fun, wholesome ride. You're like in the Tilt-A-Whirl seats on like a conveyor or whatever and it like pulls you through the mansion it's just kind of like a guided tour but i always loved that ride growing up i don't know what i was doing all right that's a good base just a cool toned like mauvey shade i really like that i feel like you've got enough like matte shades that you could do an all matte look but that's just not my style if it's yours there's plenty in here now I'm gonna use the shade Graveyard Stroll. Still gonna use the fluffy crease brush, but go in just slightly and put this into the crease. Just a little bit lower than where I have that mauve shade, but I don't wanna wash it out with that gray. Do you guys have any plans for like Halloween, fall or anything like that? I have a few. I know there's a Halloween party. Still haven't figured out my Halloween costume. Was it last year? Two, two years ago. It was before I met Luke. I was gonna do something for Halloween and then I just wasn't feeling it. I'm gonna go into the shade New Orleans. Nolens. How do you say it? New Orleans or Nolens? If you've been down there, you know how the locals say it. Done that for Christmas, which is actually a lot of fun. I've never thought to go down there and visit for the Christmas. But it was, it was fun, we had a good time. All right, now on my compacted smudge brush, just deepen up this corner. So you kind of get like the deep charcoal-y shade right here and then I still have that gray. Just don't go too high, you don't wanna wash it out. That's how you get that layer effect. And then I still have the mauvey purple. Now, I'm gonna go into the shade Frightful. Mm, look how pretty that is. This one I'm gonna take on my middle finger, just place it in the center. I'm not going all the way in because I do want the pressed glitter to still have some of that opaqueness in the corner but I want to build this up a little bit. Now, if you wanted to do just like an oil slick eye, that is beautiful. I love just that effect right now. And then with liner and mascara, it would bring it all together. But that's not the vibe today because I want to play with that pressed glitter. Now going into the shade Ghost Toast, I'm gonna pick that up on my ring finger. Hmm, look how pretty that is. And it's kind of shifted the shade right there. So I'm just patting it on. I don't have my silicone brushes. I'm pretty sure they're in my drawer. So I'm gonna see if I can pick it up on a dry brush, which it looks like I can, and just in the inner corner. Ooh, yeah, that picked up beautifully. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead, do this eye, do my base products, and I'll be back. Okay, now to finish off this eye look, if you wanna know any other products that I used, they will be linked down below, the clickable links, so definitely go check those out. Yeah, I'm liking how my skin looks. Now, for this eye, I'm gonna go into the shade The Attic. This is gonna go the entire length under my eye.
I'm gonna go into the shade Graveyard Stroll. This is only gonna go to about a quarter of the way in or a third of the way in. I usually place it in the outer quarter and then bring it in a third of the way. Are you guys planning on picking this up? Do you like the Haunted Mansion? And then going into the shade New Orleans. This is just going in the outer V. Just a smoky, tealy eye look. If you guys heard that, that is actually our front door. Um, we have a smart lock on it, and if you don't close it properly, it warns you that the deadbolt didn't engage, and I think Luke went outside. But I like it because if you forget to lock the door, it will automatically lock for you. It's a nice safety feature. Okay, so we've got that. I've already done like blush, highlighter, all that type of stuff. I think I need to do inner corner and Bravo, and I completely forget about that. I'm gonna use the shade Seance Circle. This is that cool toned champagne shade. Also, you guys, if you stay till the end, you're going to see my new haircut. I went in yesterday to get my hair touched up and I was just, I was feeling like I needed some of the length taken off. It's been a while since I cut it short, like I've been letting it grow out. The last time I cut it short it was when I first started my channel and it was like to here. And then I regretted it when I wanted to be able to like pull it back in a ponytail. So I had told Maddie, the girl who does my hair, I was like, so we're gonna cut it, but it's gotta be pulled back in a bun and it still needs to have length for a ponytail. And she's like, perfect. And I had shown her some of the ideas that I had. Um, who was it? Lucy Hale, her like medium haircut. So that's the other thing is like, it's fall. I still wanna be able to like have cute hair, like braids and stuff like that. But also like when I curl it, like not look crazy. So this is the first time I've curled it like you know when you go to a salon and they style your hair and it's super cute and then you can never replicate it that's how I am so I curled it it's pinned back right now and I will unveil it at the end and we'll both see it together <laughs> all right now I need brows liner mascara and then I have lips and I still need to decide if I want to use the glitter all right I'll be right back okay you guys <laughs> I'm back and we need to do lips but this is the hair I think it is so cute. Let me know your thoughts. I was kind of nervous about getting it cut like so short. I, I don't know. I just wanted something like a little bit lighter and some layers. And she did some framing pieces, which right now you can't really tell because it's curled. But when I go and like straighten it, you might be able to see that. I just needed something fresh. Anyways, we have lips and I do also still have this. I was kind of thinking I might like put it right here. It is supposed to glow in the dark. It's so liquidy. I've done this before for like one of my Halloween costumes and then even um, like a friend's party, just kind of tapping it into place. I'll do like my highlighter underneath so I still see that and then put the glitter on top. I'm not going anywhere else tonight. I think we're gonna make a pizza and then just hang out and watch a movie after Luke helps me finally put my shelf up for my perfume. I am so sick of it being on my bookshelf and I was like, babe, can we please? Put this up he's like yes we'll put it up so after i'm done filming we're gonna put those up so i can organize my perfumes and stuff and um yeah so cute look at that and like as it dries down it just kind of peeking through my bangs that's cute i like it uh i have done it where i've like done like right here in my hair i have a work well i have a retirement tomorrow that i'm performing in i'm the ceremonial guard for it so I'm not really gonna put glitter in my hair because I don't know that it's gonna wash out completely before I have to go into work tomorrow. Fridays, Saturdays, I will because then I can wash my hair a couple times and get the glitter off, but that's not the vibe right now. Okay, we have four different shades, neutral shade, and then a purpley, yeah, purpley shade. So, all right, the ultra matte lips are these ones right here and then the gloss is purple. I'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand. Ooh, it smells like berries, like berry shortcake. Oh, okay. So this shade is Beware, which I really like that shade. Then we have Hitch a Ride, which is purple. Ooh, this one's fun. 
And then we have Summoned Spirits, which is kind of like a brick bread. Ooh, that's like a Cabernet. It's not brick, it's like a Merlot or chocolate. Actually, it's like a red chocolate shade. And then the gloss I assume is pretty clear. Yeah, just glossy clear shade. I kind of want to do the matte shade. I also want to, actually, I think I'm going to use purple. We're going to stray away from the norm. So like they're starting to dry down. <laughs> I wonder how well this is going to come off. Okay, not too bad with the makeup wipe. Good at good makeup balm and they just come off beautifully. I do not have a lip liner in this shade. We're just gonna go in. Okay, this, all right. All right, that's a good start, but I feel like I need a little more to like even it out. This shade is not for if your lips are super dry. This might be my new favorite fall lip. Okay, I really, I really like this. I went from like really pretty, like neutral, not neutralized. It went from just kind of like a smoky oil slick of an eye to like full on goth, goth glam. Let me know your thoughts. Are you about the dark lip? Now they're like, I kind of want to try this. So like I've seen people grab like these types of shades and put them on their lips to like change. I'm going to pick up a little bit. Just That is really pretty. And I'm just kind of keeping it centralized. Not in the inner corner. That's a lot of fun. Now, we're going to amplify this one more time. It like smells like berry shortcake. I love this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do it from the corners because I don't want the glitter to transfer. In person, it looks better than on camera. I didn't ruin it. It's just, I prefer it before there was the like gloss on it. Now gloss can make it so that the matte will like transfer. I'm going to test to see and I'll reactivate it so it's no longer matte, but it should help it stay put. It's the only downside to putting a gloss on top. Let me know your thoughts. Did you like it when I had it matte with the glitter on top of it before I put the lip gloss? I mean, I like the super glossy look, but I think I liked the matte better. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like this? gothy glam look that I came up with. Are you picking up the Haunted Mansion and ColourPop collection? I'm kind of in love with it. And I think I'll be playing around with this a lot more. This shade, and I almost didn't use it, very surprising. And I really, I think I'm gonna be using this quite a bit during the fall time. Is goth glam my vibe this month? Let me know your thoughts. I'm really interested to know what you have to say down in the comments. Now, you guys, before you leave, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.